everyone, welcome back to Denise Dives and today I um, already opened my Erin Condren order because I couldn't wait <laughs> and I just wanted to show you basically like how I'm going to use everything and um, basically just like put it away with me I guess, I don't know. Um, first of all I ordered a new cover. I really like the eucalyptus print however um, it normally has like a pinkish background not a big fan of pink and they sent me a pink box which I thought was hilarious pink box I don't love pink but um, I changed it to harbor which was the name of the color and I switched the accent to white um, I really like the way it turned out I don't think you're probably seeing all the intricate different greens and stuff in there but it's super duper pretty and I just I just wanted another cover I'm just I'm not gonna lie I was gonna only have one for like winter and one for um, uh, like the rest of the year I guess like one for like fall and then one for summer um, but I just really wanted another one they're just so adorable and um, I like changing things up okay this was not like this the last time what do you see this Got all the little dots in there still weird maybe because I personalized it I didn't personalize the last one or not personalized customized anyway um, how are your December's going let me know down below I'd like to get more um, I don't know feedback from you guys on like what you'd like to see and um, I keep trying to record myself in person and I just hate the way it turns out so uh, it's a work in progress, but I want to do more videos where like I'm just kind of like basically telling you my story and like why I started budgeting. Um, I do want you guys to know that it may not seem like, oh, like why are you even budgeting kind of thing. Like you don't have that much debt. I mean, I do have a car loan. I do have a credit card, but I'm 31 and I've been through basically... <laughs> every stupid decision I feel like you can make. Um, I didn't get the student loans. Um, that's probably like the only, and that's not a stupid decision if you have student loans, but I just decided like I have, um, I had a job at the time. I had just heard certain things about like, oh, my student loan debt is this. And like, this was from like other people that were older than me. And I'm just like, that sucks. Like I do not want to have student loan debt when I get older. And I can pay it right now, so I might as well, you know. I didn't live on campus or anything. I lived at home, and I went to work. So I definitely could pay for my school, so I did. And then, um, but yeah, I have, I have had two car payments that were more than my mortgage. I have done that. Um, I have gotten every store card for every store that I go in I've done that um yeah I've just basically made all of the mistakes that you can make so that's why I think that I'm just like a little bit better off now um I did have to um just I don't know learn the hard way on a lot of the stuff and I just would say like I'm on the other end of it a lot of these other YouTube people that I watch not a lot of them but uh, most of them that I tend to watch, it seems like they're maybe a little bit younger than me sometimes. And I think that, like, great for them for budgeting so soon, but, like, uh, maybe that's why they have a little bit different debt than me. But that is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I freaking love it. And do we know, like, what side's the front and what side's the back? Because I just noticed that, like, I just put them on, like, a certain way. That's funny. Well, I mean, this has to be this way. I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, so this one has to be the back because this would be upside down. Okay, I'm stupid. Forget I said that. Okay, now we have to do this to the other side. <laughs> this is annoying. Um, but yeah, um, I haven't tried to film this before, but I'll just say it now since we're just sitting here poking all these stupid plastic things out. Um, I had to file bankruptcy when I was... Dominic will be six this year, so when he was five, and it was a really rough time. That's kind of like when the worst of my divorce 
not divorce, sorry. My marriage was like basically falling apart at this time. Um, my ex-husband has a drug problem and he was getting fired left and right. We had a very specific lifestyle and I feel like we lived outside of our lifestyle. Like we always had new cars, we always had um, uh, just like if we wanted new sunglasses, we got new sunglasses. If we wanted, if I wanted a new purse, I got a new purse. Like it was just not the best way to live. And um, so when he developed this problem and addiction um, and then started getting fired from places and I had a newborn, a newborn, he was literally <laughs> a couple months old and I just was like, I don't know how to pay all this stuff. I didn't breastfeed. Um, so I had to buy diapers and formula. That was like an extra, a good hundred dollars a week in formula and diapers for a newborn. And that was just those things. Like that wasn't any, if I wanted to get him clothes or anything like that, that was just formula and diapers pretty much for him. So um, we had a foul bankruptcy. There was, there was no other thing. I, if I had seen anything about Dave Ramsey before that, this was, five or six years ago. So I don't know if he was like even, he probably was, I don't know. I don't know when he started his whole financial peace university. I probably like just missed the boat watch. Um, but I think I might've tried to just figure out the debt. It hasn't affected me that much. Um, pretty much the only things that we put in bankruptcy were, um, some credit cards, the car, like one of the cars, um, because we couldn't afford two $600 payments. And then, um, to be put in there oh um my ex-husband had some like old medical bills we put those in there um just kind of like how alex has like an old collection that we're paying now um he had a couple things like that and then i put some hospital bills in there um yeah there was just there was no way i could pay them and it was just getting worse and worse and worse and I didn't want to lose the house. I thought that was what was going to happen and I just was like, well, if we get rid of our credit card debt, we can still pay the house. I have, I had my job. I have the job that I have now at the same time. I had the same position that I had. So I was making pretty much the same money that I'm making now. So I just knew this is so pretty. Oh my God. I'm so in love. So in love. Oh my God. Okay. So basically I just knew that we had to file bankruptcy. So that's a lot of reason why I don't have any, uh, credit card debt like now, because I learned then like, don't do that. Don't live beyond your means. Don't buy things that you don't need necessarily. Um, like don't put wants on credit cards kind of thing. Like I learned that then. So that's why I think I don't have a lot of debt and stuff like that. So just a little bit of background that I've been trying to film with my face and I just can't do it. I just, I don't like the way I look. <laughs> so, um, we'll just call this a story time video guys. Um, so this is my ruler that I got. I got like, I think it was called like pop something color pop or it wasn't called color pop. That is not what it was called. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I feel like there's a film. Yeah, there's a film on it for sure. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit of background on my budgeting journey. Um, and what Dave Ramsey said just like super resonated with me. I think that's why I started wanting to budget too, just because I learned a lot when we went through that whole process, but I learned even more like listening to him saying like, you shouldn't like debt is not a way to live kind of thing. And I really agree with that. And I just wasn't brought up that way. I mean, I feel like this is a relatively new idea. Like I just have always been told, Hey, build your credit up, build your credit up, build your credit up. If that means get a car and oh my God, that's so yuck. Where should I put this? Hmm. I think I'm gonna put it in here and then use that someplace else. So stinking cute. I'm in love. Okay. So 
that's the bookmark that I got. Like I said, it was like haul, it was like the fourth option in if you go online. I think it was it was four dollars. The um, cover are the covers are eight unless they're metallic, then they're thirteen. And um, you can do this like personalization for free, and you can also like put your ah uh, personalizations on your name. Don't quote me because I'm not sure how much those cost, but. Um, to change the colorway, you can totally just do and it's the same price. Okay, and then um, I got their little hexagon bag for free. And I'm gonna say right now that I probably won't use this because it's nylon and I hate nylon. Um, I don't know why. I just don't like like the noises it makes. I don't know. I was thinking about like possibly um, Oh, I didn't tell you guys. So basically for my surprise box, like the things that I didn't love, I'm going to give to Dominic's teacher. Brilliant idea, right? I'm gonna give those to his teacher and then um, that way someone gets use out of them and I don't have to buy a present for her basically because I usually don't buy anything for the teachers. If I do, I'll like do like baked goods or something like that. I usually don't do things just because like for me, it's really hard for me to, um, uh, not try to use something that's a gift and I don't like to put that burden on other people maybe that doesn't make sense but I really like to give things that you can use so um maybe I'll like try to figure out a way to like put this in her gift somehow um, because I was gonna give her the journal I know I said I was gonna use the journal but I'm gonna give her the journal and I'm gonna give her the the pretty pens the metallic pens oops sorry and then what else was I gonna give her I might give her the candle. I haven't decided yet because I just have a lot of candles and I'm trying to be like super, not minimalist, but very thoughtful in the things that I have. And the candle goes so well with those two items. So I might give her the candle. I haven't, I haven't made up my mind. Um, but maybe I can add that to her present. Um, that was part of the, the box. Um, you get it for, I'm pretty sure all of December probably. I think it's like kind of like her Christmas gift for right now. Um, or like some sort of gift for the holiday um, from like Erin Condren to you if you do place an order. Um, there's going to be a link down below if you want to place your first order with them. You get $10 off. And then you get that bag too. I think it's with any purchase you make. So um, you always get these, which I'm super stoked that I got the green because I think I placed my order in November. So I, I think it's whenever the order ships. I've heard on people's things. So it shipped in December, so I got the green, which goes, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna use those other ones for like Christmas presents because they're not Christmas color. Like this is a Christmas color. I'll, I'll probably use this on the teacher's present for Dominic's school because, unless I put it in a bag, I'm not sure yet. But I thought that was a really unique way to use my mystery surprise box just so that um, it didn't, nothing went to waste. I can use that as a gift. Um, and I was thinking like, even if I get like the ones throughout the year and I don't like something, I can just like leave them in the box or like leave them in a little area for like presents in the future kind of thing. Because all the stuff that they put in the box, like you may not like something, but I'm sure like a teacher or I don't know, maybe even like uh, if you get presents for your like mailman or something like that, I'm sure that somebody can use anything that's in those surprise boxes. So um, I try not to waste anymore. I think that budgeting has really helped with that because I don't want to waste my money either, you know? So anyway, sorry for that little side note. Um, I got these stickers. Um, they're in like foil differently, which I don't necessarily think that I'm going to care too, too, too much, but I also bought the, this, because these are so adorable. Like I cannot even believe they're even prettier in person. They're just, I love the foil, which I'm not like a big, like you guys know from my happy planner stuff, girly girl, but this stuff is so like just pretty. It's very, um, like quality. It just, it's just so nice. And I just really wanted one of these. So this is kind of like a present for Christmas for me and <laughs> I just keep buying presents for myself. It's cool, it's cool. So I might like, let's say I wanna use these boxes in something, like I might match them, but I don't think it's gonna bother me too much. 
they come in this has rose gold and this has silver and this has gold so but honestly like I don't think I'll care that much it's so minimal like you can barely tell but I think it's funny how like big these look but they're not that big like I'll use the pink because I hate pink <laughs> like that's way littler than it looks just so you guys know um but I thought those would be cute for next year. Um, I think I want to do a little bit something different on my January um, budget. Uh, the way I lay it out. Um, now I've been using five pages. So the five pages that come with the deluxe monthly. Um, uh, basically every month you get five line pages. So you get one, two, three four, five in January, here's a little sneak peek of my January budget. There's one, two, three I'm only using right now. So I have two blank pages that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. So I might do something a little different. Um, I kind of want to, I, cause I eliminated the spending tracker. What I think I want to do is like actually just track exactly what I'm spending. Kind of like the happy planner, um, budget extension pack has like a little expect tracker. I could just like separate it out by like category, like groceries or, I haven't made up my mind yet, but I think that's what I kind of want to do just so that I get more of a um, idea of like what I spend during that month kind of thing. Um, Cause like, uh, this is this month. Um, if you look here, I put money in fun and we spent it, but I didn't know, like I didn't have anywhere written like how much everything was for that. So I put like little description of like what we actually use that money for, which I think will be like useful if I make the budget next year and I want to make sure that we have money for that. Um, if I had it jotted in like a tracker per se. So I don't know. Um, I'll definitely have it nailed down eventually, um, but I just love this cover. So Again, if you want to copy my colorway, if you need this this uh, cover in your life, Harbor is the background and white was the accent color. So pretty. But anyway, um, I think that is it for today's video. I think that was everything in the box. I didn't order that much stuff. Um, my order was, I think, $31 after shipping everything. Yeah, it was $31. And I took that out of my spending money because um, I had to have some stuff. Um, and I used my 20% off that came on my little newsletter. Oh, speaking of which, no newsletter in here, guys. That's weird, huh? Hmm. Just so you guys know, so maybe they don't do them all the time or I just missed out. Yeah, I definitely didn't get a newsletter this time. So, Keep that in mind because there's a 20% off on those. So if you don't get one and you want a 20% off, you can't do that. I didn't lose it. Nope. Yeah, I didn't get one. So Okay, that's it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed the story time. Um, if you want like um, budgeting videos or if you want to start budgeting, um, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you um, try to help you out with your budget. It definitely helps me out with you guys um, to basically interact with you and just... Um, keep myself accountable and everything. Um, if you've already subscribed, I recently hit over 100 subscribers and I'm just thrilled beyond compare. I'm just so excited and um, you guys are great and um, keep leaving your comments below. You're all so nice and supportive and I will see you all next time. I hope that you have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.